right, if you're healthy and you need a good reason to get out of the house, you might want to think about giving blood. The Diversity Blood Center tells us they are trying to work ahead and save blood supplies for the future. That's right, and that's why they're encouraging people to donate now, and they're reassuring Hoosiers they're taking all the proper steps so donors can give safely. So Randall Lusom, he was in Carmel today, and he has more on what you need to know if you'd like to give blood. Hey guys, I'm coming to you from the Blood Mobile here with Versity Blood Center. A blood drive is happening right now, guys. It's going until 6 o'clock this evening, and I'm talking to Madison Fields, our team leader here. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. Okay, awesome. so things are going pretty good for you guys right now for donations, right? Correct, yes. So we're trying to schedule people out towards the end of the summer just because we have plenty of products right now, but when all the elective surgeries start happening again, We'll need the donations then also. So, How does this whole process kind of work? How do people kind of get involved and donate? So uh, you can either schedule your appointment at versity.org and go through that portal, or you can also call us um, at our main branch at 3450 North Meridian, um, and then also just come on by and we can get you scheduled if you need to be. An important point we wanted to make is that this is an emergency need right now, not necessarily right now. It's for the future, right? Correct, yes, just because um, there's not a lot of people getting out right now because of the stay-at-home order, so there's less cause of needing for blood products right now at the hospitals. And, of course, everybody's talking about it, social distancing right now and doing this whole thing safely. What's behind that process for you guys? So, I mean, it's kind of hard in the health care field because we do have to be closer to you, but we are taking all the precautions, hand sanitizer, we're wiping down everything after each donor, we're putting all, all the squeezies and uh, Ziploc baggies for you guys for the protection of the community. How would you describe the atmosphere, how it's been so far today, and then you guys have been at this for a couple weeks now, how would you describe everything going on? Um, it's been great. We've had an influx of new donors, which is awesome. Um, go, go ahead and come out, especially high school kids. If you're 16, have a parent consent. More than glad to be a lifetime donor. That'd be awesome. Awesome, Madison. Thank you so much. All right, thank guys. Thank you guys so much for oh, coming yeah. out. Oh, thank you. Okay, so a beacon of hope, guys, for people in need that may need it later down the line because of COVID-19. We're here at the Blood Mobile, guys. Come out, donate, and save a life. I'll send it back to you guys. Yeah, they're definitely in need of it as well. All right. Uh, thank you, Randall.